So today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Rainbow Six Siege, you know, the bust down walls, breaking down doors kind of game. But the first step that you want to do, right, you want to you wanna go up here into options, okay? You want to go to audio, you want to turn voice chat volume and just turn it off and then hit apply. First step. Second step, go to your operators, select their gun and put ACOG on it. Just ACOG, that's all you need. ACOG for everything. ACOG, muzzle break, vertical grip, and a laser. That's all you need for everything. Every kill. <laughs> I thought I was playing Dead by Daylight for a second. Every. Sur e <laughs> Fuck, I almost said survivor. Every operator, okay? You gotta you gotta put that, put that, put that stuff on. And then defenders. Defenders, you just fucking. You put, you put a gadget on, you put their primary weapons and shit. And then, and then that's it, you know? And then, then once, once you're done with all of that, you click multiplayer casual you don't do any of you don't do any of this other stuff you don't do those little stupid missions you don't need those missions you just hop right into the game and start playing all right so what you want to do when you when you get in the game you just want to click random if you're an attacker and then you're going to come in and you're going to click ash because she's obviously the best you're not going to have a skin like me because i'm really good at this game all right so when you start you just want to you want to get your little rc car and you just want to like jump them around you know jump cooldown and stuff but you want to jump them around you want to get into areas like this and then you'll hear you'll hear these fuckers going and then you just want to expose them and then you know you're gonna be getting chased and you're probably gonna die but that's okay because you have teammates that have those things too see this guy this guy knows what he's doing he's finding stuff see now we know what their whole team is they have healer guy flyer guy electricity person but then you know you're gonna get in the game and you know they're in the basement and since you're ash you have this little cool thing that you can breach doors and shit with the first thing you're gonna do is follow your teammates even if they don't seem like they know what they're doing and then you're gonna lean around corners and you're just gonna like you're gonna hard peek okay every time wait for your teammate to go through Okay, you see, I died there because that guy was cheating. He's not better than me. He's just cheating. That's why he killed me. And the, the point of this game is you don't want to have communication with your team. If you're communicating, you're doing it wrong. And see, when you get to defenders, right, you just want to you want to run around and make as much noise as possible. So what, what you want to do, you want to you want to you want to pick Rook because he's the best roamer in the game. If you're not picking Rook to roam, you're doing something wrong. Then you're just gonna, you're just gonna put your little thingy down so that your teammates can, you know, get good. We're all gonna get it together because you know we're homies. And then I'm gonna reinforce a wall, you know, because we need to reinforce walls. You know, I'll let them take care of that. See, I'm just gonna actually roam around as him. I'm just gonna stay in one spot though, because you know, roaming's pointless. And also, I don't have any map knowledge of in this game. I mean, I mean, I have the best map knowledge in the game, so obviously I know the best spots to be. And sound plays a huge factor in this game, so you always want to be listening, even if you're not sure where they are. All right. And see, you just want to, you know, see a guy with a shield, you, you blow his ass up. And see, you don't want to do anything. You want to let your teammates do everything, and then if it comes down to you, just kill yourself. That's the main thing. And see, this round, I'm actually going to try. And once again, click random, you go for Ash. And then this round, since it's round three and your team's about to win, then you're going to try. You're actually going to try to get kills. You're going to try to do good stuff in the game. You know, forget all the people that have all these, like, paid-for people. They're not important. We're the most important one on the team, obviously. Then remember, hop. If you're not hopping, you're doing something wrong. And be careful for spawn peekers. If they're peeking your spawn, chances are you're gonna have a bad time. Then, you know, repel. You want to repel. And see, you destroy their stuff for a reason. You don't want them to have anything. Then you're going to go back down, upside down, right? And then you're just going to pre-fire like hell. 
If you hear somebody, you're gonna pre-fire because you're gonna win the game. Trust me. And see, I came up clutch that last round, so I'm I'm the most valuable player, not this guy. I don't know what the game's thinking. When you get the last kill, you're the most valuable player, regardless. And see, now that I've taught you everything that you need to know, you're gonna go into the game like me right now, and you're just gonna kill everybody. Okay, they killed me because I wasn't trying. If I was trying, I would have easily killed them. And I can't forget to mention how important map knowledge is. If you don't have map knowledge, just quit playing. You see, I knew that they were there because I have map knowledge. Wow, she's thick. And see, I have the diffuser, so I'm gonna kill this man. Or I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill him actually. I'm gonna let him survive because I'm a good person. Okay, now I'm gonna kill him. See, that's all on my teammates. If my teammates would have protected me, we would have won the round. You gotta go rook with this MP5 every round. I don't care what anybody says, and you're gonna roam. It doesn't matter what people say. You have to roam as rook. He's the greatest roamer in the game. If you're not roaming as Rook, you're doing something wrong. And so you're going to barricade a lot. You want to make sure that they can't get in anywhere. And I'm going to do this because I want to confuse the enemies. I want to make sure. Why? What? what the fuck? They need to know who's boss of these stairs. They're going to try to get behind you, but you don't let them get behind you. I'm going to pick my teammate up because he needs to be alive for me to help him. We won't let these fuckers take our land! That last round didn't go as planned, but if you just listen to my advice and do everything that I say, you will be the greatest Rainbow Six Siege player known to man. I guarantee it.